Så vi kör ju med. Mm. Ja, hopp in dessa. So these are, these are the magnetized like ball bearings? No, they're yeah. just, they're, okay. what they are, it's just a straight roller. They could even be this shape. That would be the ultimate shape. Right. Steel. So, yeah. oh, look what happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's prophetic. Yeah. Earthquake. That's gone. Look at that. Oh. Right. So, that shape, all that is doing, if that is that shape, is making that a straight line to there. So, the thing is. Like that. And it rolls up. So by pulling it in and out, can speed up or slow down whatever you want to do. For example, if you used to push that in, it would run to that edge and have it pull away. Right? So you could make it go like that, infinitely vertical. Mm -hmm. right? Now, as they come into here, it hits the widest possible edge, that, that one there. So in other words, it's hitting, I've got it drawn like that. Right? All right. Okay. So, so it's going to look like... Um, come on in. So that is that. That is that. Then it hits this edge here, and it rolls around. It's being pulled by that magnet, mm. by that magnet, and also by that magnet. And as it gets to here, this is just mild steel, so mm -hmm. no, no magnets. Mm -hmm. That magnet now locks onto that. Mm -hmm. But because it is not actually touching it, it's pulling it in this way, right? Mm -hmm. It is causing this to speed up exponentially. They come right out of that point there, almost losing it by moving this in or out. Mm -hmm. okay. so this has now a huge, it's falling. Mm -hmm. This thing weighs 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, so it's 130 pounds drop, mm -hmm. or 130 tons. Please yourself. Yeah. When it gets down to here, it is then diverted around. And that is now spinning at a gigantic rate. Mm -hmm. And now it makes surface contact with that. And it's going to rip around there because it's got stored momentum energy from the fall. It has gained spin, spin. Right. as it falls. Yeah. This, is, this doesn't happen in normal. Normal right. something falls and burns up. Right. If it spins, it's gaining that energy that the gravity is causing it to spin. Mm. Beautiful. All right, so that's what we've done. We've caused this now. So let's rip around it there. But that is also an electromagnet, which is fired by that. Right? Yeah, well, that one concerned. would be fired by that. Then that one would be fired by that. Then uh, that one. Let's get this right now. This is crossing there first. That'll fire that. Then it crosses that one. That'll fire that. Then it crosses that one, because this is rotating, right? These magnets here, they're all very powerful magnets. And as it goes through a copper field, you put a magnetic field through a copper field and it gives you electricity. How fast you go through it gives you frequency. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, it's an important thing to remember. So, it comes around to here, down to here, around to here. So, it is actually drawing the magnetic field through there because these are mild steel. Mm -hmm. And it's running on its tip edge. Its edge might be flat like that. So it's running around of there, and it's going to rip through there without even having to use these fire these at all. That's only for going slow just to fire it up when you start, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so then she's into here, changes direction, which causes inertia, right? Which is then repelled in that direction, and that comes around to there. It locks onto that and pulls it around. So you've got thirteen of them locked in all the time, and thirteen dropping allows one to be pulled up, right? Which you could also repulse it if you wanted to by a magnetic field pulling it out. It's not really necessary. I drew it in 
as so, but uh, not necessary. So, we'll look at this here. So what you got then is magnetic fields, or well, that is that part there, that is that part there. I drew a square because that's it, probably the only things I can buy at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's being pulled by this magnetic field, which is stationary, and this is ripping past. So that pulses that, that pulses that, that pulses that. So the faster it goes, sorry, the more it pulses. This is spinning now on this point, right? Extremely fast. And as it gets around to here, this becomes locked to that. And as it's spinning, it's driving it around with mm -hmm. stored momentum. Mm -hmm. So you've got gravity, you've got momentum, you've got built up momentum, you've got electrons, uh, elect electromagnetic fields you can work with, and permanent magnets, which are also causing the magnetic fields. Mm -hmm. Like well, every chime has got one. Mm. That's the whole point with all this exercise. It, it, it's, it's entirely aimed at defeating and defanging the beast because this is what it's all based on oil. Okay, so what we've got then these magnetic fields interact, they've got to go somewhere. That becomes a magnetic field and it could be drawn right out to the end to the tip of that cone shape, right? Then you got this one here. That's going to the tip on the other side, which because it's in a magnetic field here, that is, if this is the south, right, this becomes a bar magnet. So that becomes a south there, that's a north there. That's what happens. It's that simple. It's automatic because you're using a non-magnetic field. And it's not being charged as a North Pole or South Pole because it's spinning. Mm. So what you end up with is the entire outside area becomes a South Pole. Right? So there it is there. I've drawn a straight across from that, right? Now, you can also pulse it with these. Because when you pulse that, you're pulsing that. That magnetic field goes through that, and if you don't pulse it, it becomes an electro generator. When that is not in there, that's gone through, the magnetic field through there, through there, to the south pole there, close encounters with that, this then generates electricity. Feed it back in the system again. Anyone can do it. Mm -hmm. Put it in your car, put two of them in your car, turn in your car, and there's your transmission. Okay. Got one on each wheel. Mm. Chain drive if you like. Generate DC, put DC to money, how much money you got. Mm. Chinaman will do it with chains. Bike wheels. Yep. Got, the bike you want to go to work picking bloody rice, and the bike's gone. He's got it out in the garage building a bloody magnetic motor out. <laughs> Used his own up already. <laughs> so it's that simple thing. Now, uh, I'll put it more in more detail here. Um, and again you can zoom in, well that's what I wrote. The steel discs are magnetically locked to the magnets leaving a small airspace, A, so I've got it all numbered right. But now see what it separates first. Um, so the 25mm shaft passes through the 75mm disc, each drawn magnetically, now this has been changed to a cone now. With a guide to D, run through blah, blah, blah. So it's building up momentum, it's generating electricity, it's operated by gravity. And gravity is giving off something free. Spin. Spin. Falls the same speed, whether it's spinning or not spinning. Mm. That doesn't hurt gravity. So we've induced to fall to create the spin. Mm. And that is a store of energy. Can you imagine it? Mm. Imagine dropping one out of a 747 at 35,000 feet and you put a spin to it as fast, 200, 300,000 reps mm. and drop it. See what happens. It disappeared at the centre of the earth. <clears throat> so that's basically how that is explained in that drawing.
Now, what we should do here, just to magnify the point, we're going to make that It's working, partner. Right? Get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody piece of crap. <laughs> All right, so basically you got this shape. You've got to go and change it, otherwise the damn thing goes, does annoying things. A little bit of a space there. So you end up with this shape. Like go up here a bit. That's what it's going to look like. I think. Right. Get all this down there. And there's just just this big broad area. It's that flood area it's going to run on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that now becomes this here right? to a point. So just based on 25 millimeters and the diameter of it, it becomes three times faster at this point, right? Because this is where it's picked up the speed, runs into here, and then locks into the magnet. And drops and it builds up the speed. So you could be three times, four times, five times faster, whatever you like. Simply by pulling in or out, speed up, slow down, more power, less power. It's got speed and it's got horsepower at when you need it, right when you're starting. Mm. And it can go backwards. A little generator with a motor on it. When you go backwards, Disengage your clutch, drive your wheels back electrically because you've stored the energy. Why well, put a gearbox on? Just reverse the current. Go back up. So that's the basic principle of that. And uh, I challenge anybody in the world to say that won't work. And therefore, if it is going to work, which of course it is, I will debate anybody on any subject. And I want John Lennox to judge who I am. Because no one else is bloody telling you. Mm. And I cannot get on the internet anywhere. Mm. So as I can't get on the internet anywhere, that is an obvious proof. This is protocol and a man of Lennox learning should know. Mm. Protocol 14. Well, uh, well it, 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 and protocol 4. Protocol 4 is all about removing the of God. So that's what I said in the facts last night too, and I pointed it out. That's the shape of it. It's 